the Joe Rogan experience. And as soon as things get hot and everything turns brown and stops raining, that's when fire season happens. And it's a lot of it is fucking idiots throwing cigarettes out the window. Sorry. A lot of it is people that are camping, homeless people. Start and fires. gender reveals. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, they have the, right. fire, like they have the fireworks at the gender reveal. Yeah, yeah. Everybody loses their house. <laughs> how about how about like uh, those guys, the smoke jumpers, whatever the people that do that? That's a balls gig. But they didn't have that in Hawaii. They had nothing like that there. Like when that um, town went up, you know, yeah. it was all made of bamboo. I mean, it was oh, crazy. Yeah. Oh, you mean in Maui? In Maui, the Maui yeah. Maui thing's crazy. Yeah. The that Maui was power lines downed. Oh, that's power what lines. it was. And wasn't then, response time terrible, too? It was non-existent. Yeah. They it's never had anything like that happen there. Yeah, but it was, there was also a lot of problems. Like, the people didn't want to release the water, because, the, the, like, the water is owned. Like, there's water rights. And I think oh, the wow. water was going to the rich neighborhoods where the golf courses are. And wow. So it was, like, Fucking trying to get class. the water. And then there's yeah. also, like, how the fuck do you have a place that's this windy where you still have exposed power lines? That seems insane. Man. That seems insane. Like, every time those things fall down and you didn't clean up any of the brush around it. Wasn't the conspiracy that they were trying to get it out of there so they could sell the land? Yes. The crazy conspiracy is the direct energy weapons conspiracy. People what? think what? those fires. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, is yeah, yeah. Bro, the, the, the real tinfoil hat dudes, they'll, they'll corner you. Like, the, what do you think about the direct energy weapon in, in Maui? Was that like a heart like, attack gun for fires? It's There's <laughs> apparently... The government has the ability, according to the conspiracy theorists, of uh, and, uh, and and maybe even some real people, the, of having these things that they call direct energy weapons. So it's almost like a laser beam. Mm -hmm. And I know that these are things that they're working on. I know these are things that are probably top secret because it's it's always been discussed. Mm -hmm. There's been studies on how to do it, and like, there's been papers written on it. So the conspiracy theory is that they lit those houses on fire on purpose with direct energy weapons. And if you had a blue house, like a, with a blue ceiling, that the blue ceiling would somehow reflect against this energy weapon and stop your house from burning. No it's, way. Oh, yeah. Not only that, but they use because <laughs> Biden did some speech and in his, you know, old kind of senile way, he was talking about how some houses survived because they had the right roof. And everybody's like, see, this is the blue roof. <laughs> That's no all it takes. So, yeah, so conspiracy theorists like literally painting their roofs blue to protect them from direct <laughs> energy weapons. Jamie, please Google this. No way. By the way, this might have been one of those things that 4chan started for a fuck, uh -huh. just for, for mm -hmm. goofing with yeah, people, yeah. and then people ran with it. Who knows? Or it might be just people that are out of their Can you imagine minds. your house burning up because like your wife or partner was like, no, don't paint it blue. Operation green. green Roof. That's a thing, but it's no not way. A part of the cons the conspiracy thing. That what does confused. that mean? What is Operation One Operation post Blue on Roof? One thing about getting people blue tarps to cover their roofs. That's not the same thing as what. Oh, the ten allegedly. Cities. Sure. Allegedly, but the um this the th okay social media posts sharing <laughs> the post typically include a video from a TikTok account that often shares clips of everyday items being burned by a hand. Handheld industrial laser in a workshop. The clip shows a laser burning yellow, red, and green fabric while a blue swatch is unscathed, with text saying it can be programmed for different wavelengths. Wow. So some lasers don't work on blue ceilings, and these people think that it's the, the blue roof Did that'll you protect see? you. Someone said everything that's blue survived, including t shirts. <laughs> <laughs> a blue car and some blue beach umbrellas around Front Street along the waterfront were not destroyed in the inferno. And the Blue Man Group. They were playing in town. <laughs> they were doing a road gig. That is that is really stretching it, if you ask me. Yeah, they're going hard on this. This is too much. DEW stands for Direct Energy Weapons, which use technology like high-energy lasers instead of projectiles like bullets. But these videos are not evidence that they have anything to do with the wildfires. To start with, they show... What is the videos they're saying? Handful of blue items in the fire's aftermath. But uh, other footage and photos show these were hardly the only things left standing. So, But the thing about the... The direct energy weapon. Is there videos of those things being used? Like, is there like a, a is a direct energy weapon a real thing? Like a hundred percent. Yeah. So when you, I mean, that's different. I think it's true. It's like what you said, lasers. Of mm. So there's like videos of U.S. government talking about direct energy weapons. Yeah. In you know very broad terms. It's only like fifteen bucks a shot. But they don't. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> No, they really? were saying that this will be the best way to like shoot down missiles and drones. High energy lasers and high powered microwaves. Oh, Boom. so they just shot that thing? Nice. 
Almost looks like the drone video. Nice. So they just shot that out of the sky? But it's coming from a boat onto a boat. That's I don't know how it oh. works. Now. And so what is it? Look at look? that guy just that lovely just typing. Typing on isn't it racist to use an Asian guy? It's gonna be an airborne ranger. But the computer guy, we only let Asians handle our computers <laughs> in the Navy. Is the DEI does it show what is that video at the bottom? Why the US military is investing billions in direct action? Well, yeah. Right there. I guarantee they're That's doing cool. it because they know how to do it. But when, by the time they're telling you they're investing billions, they probably already invested in billions. Sure. They probably figure um, out. There was a video. Oh, it's not. Video claiming. Hold ah, on. There claiming to show a directed energy weapon is actually an edited clip of an explosion in Russia. That's not what I was trying to pull up. <laughs> Man, this stuff uh, is. There was a, a video of. Uh, what looked like a laser coming out of the sky. Buh. Yeah, I saw that. And like during a storm or Somebody something. Somebody like explained that. that that's that's cell phone video cameras like glitching under the intense exposure of like a lightning bolt. Oh. Like that's something that light flashes and it creates like a distortion in some cell phones. I don't know if that's true though. That was just so it's a natural. Someone had. It's a natural thing. It's not. Would that look like? Show that again. I don't know what I was even looking at. That's that lady. To... That video that you just showed. No, I know, but I, I'm trying to. I don't know what the hell they're showing because I can't hear the sound. It's showing all sorts of stuff. They're talking about. Whoa. Just mm -hmm. images that were going viral during it. Some of them are real. Some of them are not. Look at her smiling. See, like right there, for instance. Pause. That's a controlled burn at a Canton refinery in Ohio. And because of that light going to the sky, right? Someone thinks it's a laser. Everybody thinks it's, it's a just laser. a rainbow. Mm -hmm. There's another one. Oh, that's what is cool. that one? SpaceX launch. Oh, that's interesting that people are doing that. But, but that's people. Some people are out of their fucking minds. There's a thing yeah. that happened though on Twitter too. I like. I feel like this doesn't get talked about sometimes. People are trying to get engagement money because if you build up an account that can get engagement, doesn't matter if it's good engagement, bad engagement. You just got to get the numbers. You can start getting revenue. So people are reposting real old viral videos. Mm -hmm. Confusing people with shit posts right, like this, right, 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 just to build up the five million views. So but here's the real, here's the real conspiracy about the fires. Like, they haven't done any rebuilding. Um, those mm. people, they weren't allowed to have insurance inspectors go in there. I don't know if they can now. Um, that people still had to pay their mortgage on those things. Oh, jeez. And the thing the is, worst. it's like if you're getting to this point where you don't have anything and you're you you can't rebuild your house and you're fucked. And then they come along and offer you a payment or something, or you get foreclosed on because you haven't paid your mortgage. Mm -hmm. And then the banks own it. And then whoever the fuck is the developer owns mm -hmm. it. And then whatever they want to do for the better good of Maui, they build there. And then these people lose everything. This is what's really scary about it. It's because like the way it's being handled is not like you're handling victims of a natural disaster that's horrific and took more lives than any wildfire in the history of this country. You're doing it like you are trying to figure out a way to take that from those people. Yeah. You're not doing it like you're trying to support those people and, and build it back. You're, you're doing it like if you know what's really going on, you're not asking for financial aid for these people to deal with their mortgages, and you're not asking for aid from the government in one of those giant Ukraine bills, it would take $5 billion, right? Mm -hmm. Wasn't that what the money was? $5 billion to rebuild all those houses? That, that's a drop in the bucket that's to nothing. what they're spending mm -hmm. yeah. in Ukraine. Yeah. And there's no consideration at all to do something for these fucking people? That seems like you don't want to do anything. They, well, they declared an emergency, I know, when it happened, like a um, uh, federal, like that usually means they can activate all federal funds. And well, those people got a one-time payment of 700 bucks. Jesus that's, Christ. That's an outrage. One-time payment. Didn't it's we get outrage. more for stimulus checks? Yeah. That's an outrage. Then. Yeah. Dude, well, well, fucking FEMA, when Hurricane Katrina hit, I, I went down to help, like, clean up and rebuild homes and stuff, and they sent us to Foley, Alabama, because they still didn't get relief from Hurricane Ivan like years prior. Wow. Jeez. So there were still homes with roofs blown off from Hurricane Ivan. Jeez. So did they tell them we're going to send down some high school firemen? <laughs> 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 don't don't hang up the phone. We're sending some kids. Don't let them they, go to your strip club. They're yeah. not popular yeah. in high school, oh, but they want to be God. firemen. <laughs> <laughs> they have all the weekend open. They don't have dates or friends. Hello, fellas, I'm here to help. <laughs> Hi. Anybody got a shovel for me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> That's amazing.